All right, we're going to graph this equation. And in this case, we are going to have a detailed graph and we are going to use a table with five points. So it's not just a quick sketch. We will provide all the details. So this is the parabola, right? Because you see the x squared and then the x and the y is by itself. So let's get to work. Parabola in the standard form and we have to get the vertex first. Let me just write this down first. A is two. B is negative 8 and C is 3. And let's work out the vertex formula first. Right here, let's get the vertex, which we know x is equal to negative B over 2A. And this is just the open up or open down situation because the y is by itself and we have the x being square. Okay? Here we have negative and the B is negative 8. So be sure you open the parentheses, enter negative 8 in the parentheses, and we have this over 2 times a. a is 2, so we have 2 times 2 for a. And let's just work this out. On the top, we have negative negative 8, therefore it is positive 8. On the bottom, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. 8 divided by 4, we have and I'm going to come up with a table with five points, right? So this is going to be the third text. I have the X value already, and I'm just going to have a table right here for you guys. So we have the X values, and I have to write this down. Y values are going to be 2X squared minus 8X plus 3. And I'm just going to draw one, two, Three, four. We have five places. Be sure you put the vertex in the middle. So here we have two. And let's figure this out first. So we have this. It's going to be the y value. We have two times x, which is this, this two. And we have that square. And then we minus the eight times the x value is two. And we have this. At the end, we have the plus three. And let's just work this out. 2 squared is 4, times another 2 is 8. 8, minus, 8 times 2 is 16, but this is minus. So we have 8 minus 16, which is going to give us negative 8, and then plus 3. So this is going to be negative 5. So be sure you just kind of work this out, and you can do it on the calculator. I don't mind. All right, now, what's next? This is the vertex, isn't it? We got it already. Let me just write it down. Vertex is 2, comma, negative 5. We have to get the neighbor numbers so we can have a symmetrical uh, parabola. We have 2 already. We should have 1 and 3. So let's put down 1 here and 3 here. And then we can have 0 and 4. How's that? And I'm just going to work out two parts right here. These are the easier numbers because we have 0 and 1. And you know, whatever these are, we have the same thing right here, right? So let me just put this down for you guys in action. Let me work this out first when we have 1 into x. So we have 2 times 1 squared minus 8 times 1, right? And then this is plus 3. Okay, 1 squared, be sure you work with the power first. 1 squared is 1, 2 times 1 is just 2. And 8 times 1 is uh, 8, and this is 2 minus 8, which is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. And let's work out the 0 right here as well. This right here is very easy because when you plug in 0, this is just 0. When you plug in 0 into here, it's also 0. So at the end, you know this is going to be just a 3. And I'll show you guys the work if you would like. So 2 times 0 squared minus 8 times 0. And then you add a 3 to that. 0, 0, and 3. All right, now, as I said, this is going to be the same right here. We know this is going to be negative 3, and we know this is going to be the same as that one, which is going to give us positive 3. You can still do the work. I suggest you to do so because you can double check your computation. I'll do one more for you right here. So I will plug in 3 into the x, so we have 2 times 3 squared minus 8 times the x, which is 3, and we add 3 to that. And now let's check this out. 
make sure you work out the power first. 3 squared is 9, and then we multiply by 2, so 2 times 9 is 18. And then 8 times 3 is 24, but there's a subtraction in between. 18 minus 24. This right here will give us negative 6. Negative 6 plus 3 will give us negative 3. So you know we did it right. And for the last one, once again, if you would like, you can just work it out, but it's going to be the same. But I will still show you 2 times 4 squared minus 8 times 4. And we add a 3 to that. It will be 3. And let's check this out. 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32. And then this is 8 times 4. 4, which is also 32. 32 minus 32 is 0. You add 3 to that, you still end up with 3. Perfect. And now, once you have this table, we are ready to go. We can just... Vertex first. 2, comma, negative 5. 2 is right here for the x. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down below, which is right here. And then next. 1 comma negative 3, 1 is right here, negative 3 is down here, so we have this point. And we will also have 3 comma negative 3. 3 is right here, go down, right? And we have 0 comma plus these 3, 0 for x, plus these 3 right here, and 4 comma 3, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and we go up to 3, like right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect the dots with a nice happy face parabola. And we are done.